Hi everybody. You told us to up the ante, so we are. I'm Mrs. Christian. I'm Miss Shaw. And we're going to show you how to make dry mounts and wet mount slides. Yeah. All right. So first up, dry mounts. Dry mounts are pretty simple. The things that you need are glass slide, a specimen, and another glass slide. Pretty simple. Let me get a specimen for you. All right. Okay, for this slab, for this mount, we're gonna be using a feather, okay? All you gotta do is take a little piece of the feather, usually with your forceps or tweezers, that's what they're called, you put it on a glass slide, you take the other glass slide, and you drop it on top. That's your dry mount. Cool. See it? Yay. And it goes <laughs> under the microscope. Okay. Wet mounts are a little harder because they involve using a new tool for us called the pipette. A pipette is similar to an eyedropper. It works the same way in that you squeeze your fingers together to fill, to fill it up, and then to squeeze your fingers together out of the water to create drops. And you want to make your drops as consistent as possible. You're going to need a drop of water on the slide first, usually. Mm -hmm. So can they see this? Yep. I can't. I'm fogging up just like the kids. <laughs> <laughs> All right. One drop and you always drop straight up and down never off to the side like this because look it would go right into your partner's eyes always straight up and down pipetting and then you need a cover slip preferably a clean one <laughs> yep let's show them a cover slip so cover slips are small plastic or glass squares they're very delicate can they see that pretty yeah, good I think so. all right so then is it easier on the black no nope. so the proper way to put a cover slip on is you come pass over the drop and hold it at an angle. Can they see that? Yeah. And you drag it, and when you contact the drop of water, then you just open your fingers to release it. You open your fingers like that. And the cover slip is now on. You want to carry the slides very carefully because actually if you see your sample will come dropping out. All right. So hold it level hold when it. you carry it. Mm -hmm. We will have you prepare the slides in a wet mount slide making station and bring them to your microscopes. Notice what else we're wearing. Because we're using liquids and possibly live specimens at times, we need to make sure we protect our eyes. Here's another one. Putting a little more on. I'm she put show you again. Yep. three drops of water mm -hmm. this time. Cover sure. slip is coming in. Can they see how it... Yep, you can see it. All right. Dropping it at an angle. Dragging, dropping. Okay, but because she put too much water on. It's crooked. It's crooked, and if she's not careful, all the water is going to flow out all over the microscope. Right. The other thing you want to avoid doing or resist doing is tapping down on it. Because once you tap down on it, look what happens. You squish the water out, and you'll squish any live samples we have. And that's no good. So just let it float and carry it very level over to your microscope. Good?